So there are a lot of big numbers, I guess. In fact, that there's an infinite amount, even though infinite is not an amount. What I'm trying to say is that, yes, there are a lot of big numbers, but there kind of is an upper limit to numbers in this universe. You see, most people think that numbers can go to infinity, especially if the universe is infinite. But if the universe is not infinite, then there is a finite amount of numbers that can fit into the universe. Google. No, that is not the search engine. It is actually a number. It's a one followed by 100 zeros. Now, one followed by 100 zeros, that's a pretty big number. You know, that's a million with an extra 94 zeros behind it. Google is a giant number, but a bigger number is the Google Plex. Now, that number is a 10 to the power of a Google. For those of you that are good at math out there, you will realize that a 10 to the power of a Google is the equivalent of a 10 followed by a Google of zeros. To put that in perspective, that number is much bigger than there are number of atoms in the universe. What if you were able to write out a Googleplex? How long would that take you? It would take you about 1.5 times 10 to the 92 years. That doesn't seem too long considering that it's only 1.1 times 10 to the 92 times longer than the current age of our universe. Carl Sagan once said that if you were able to write out the full number Googleplex, well you wouldn't, you wouldn't be able to because there isn't enough space in the universe for that to happen. But there is a number even bigger than a Googleplex. Graham's number is so big that if you were to write each digit down to the size of a Planck volume, which is the smallest physical part of space in our universe, the number still wouldn't be able to fit in the observable universe. And that's kind of crazy considering that the observable universe is about 91 0.5 billion light years? I believe I might have to double check that actually. Okay, so it's about 91.1 billion light years, but still pretty close. Now this number is so big that there's no point of even trying to tell you at how big it is, but we do know one thing about it. We do know the last 12 digits, <laughs> which is kind of funny because this number is more of an algorithm than anything. But the last 12 digits are 262 464 195 387. Damn, that's crazy. Graham's number is the largest conceivable to the normal human mind number, I guess, but there are a few numbers that are bigger. One of them is actually called the Tree Theorem or Kruskal's Tree Theorem. Now I've read that over, I still can't understand it, but apparently that's a bigger number and I don't even know how you can get a bigger number than, than Graham's number, a number that you can physically, no matter what circumstances, you cannot write that number out, ever even if you tried. It's like against the laws of physics to be able to write out Graham's number. And so the fact that there could be a number bigger, oh man, that's just mind blowing. Anyways, that's all for now everyone. Thank you very much for watching. Remember to subscribe and I will see you guys next time.